Yes. All right, we're here with Avery. He's going to demonstrate our hip warm up, our pre training hip warm up. We all move in three different planes of motion. Most people get stuck working in just the sagittal plane. We're going to show you how to warm up the hips in all three planes of motion. Okay. This is your traditional sagittal plane motion where most people tend to spend most of their time. As you can see, we get hip extension in one leg, the back leg, hip flexion in the front leg, arm is behind the head so he gets good thoracic extension in his spine. He's not humped over. We usually do eight per side. So after we finish the sagittal plane, then we go to the, the frontal plane or side to side plane. As you can notice his foot stays on the ground. There's no movement in this foot over here. It just stays in place. Sinking down into the, to the left hip. Arms are out in front again to help keep his spine straight so he doesn't hunch over. So switch sides. This is the advanced version. So if you're doing this, don't try to be uh, like Avery here. He's been doing this for a while. So just start easy. Limit your range of motion as you go down. This is the plane that everybody forgets about. This is the transverse plane, which is the rotary plane. Okay, so for golfers, this is extremely important to make sure that you warm up the hips and the rotation. Again, the arms are out, keeping the spine straight. Front foot comes off the ground, or the toe does, in order to get the stretch in the hamstring along with the lunge on the back side. Again, eight per side. Very good to do before you train. Very good.